those are moving away too. Might have to relocate. film and hunt. I think he's down. He's down.
Boy, handgun hunting sure does make this exciting. Beautiful Montana. Not that big, but boy, when the handgun comes out, it sure makes it exciting. Pretty excited to be shooting the cutting edge bullets. They sure did a good job. Got him down pretty clean. Well, let's get him gutted. Jerky time. Well, I wanted to show you guys something. I, I went back after we got the antelope and uh, I got the truck. I went back and got the truck and uh, ready to clean him out. Nice cool day. But I wanted to show you. I took the 475 Freedom Arms FA Model 83 with that cutting edge Raptor. I took it out to the range before I came up and wanted to make sure that the zero was still on. There's just a two power Leopold. Um, this is a hundred yard target. First shot clipped the top of the white bullseye. I raised the sight, shot two more. It put two bullets through the same hole at a hundred yards. And I'm just using a little sandbag off the hood of the truck. I lowered the sight, brought it down a little, brought it down just a touch more with the next shot. That's where I carried the revolver with it about four to five inches high. Puts me on almost at 150 yards. And you know the highest it gets is about 80 yards, which is just short of five and a half inches high. So it's still on the hair as long as I pay attention to what I'm doing. Um, I wanted to show you that because between the Freedom Arms and that cutting edge Raptor, it is very accurate. It's amazing what you can do with a handgun. And it sure makes it fun. And I carry my uh, gun holster that I make. This one's actually made for the Bisley Hunter, the Ruger, but it works really well for the Freedom Arms. The scope sticks up a little bit. Um, but if I put a Butler Creek scope cover on it, it's all good. Won't get hit with anything. I was going to modify the pattern, but with my personal holster, this is just what I use. So, well, let's get it cleaned up. And uh, can't say enough about the cutting edge solid copper bullets. Those things just shoot really well. Especially coupled with the Freedom Arms. 475, easy to shoot. They only weigh 280 grains, 1,500 feet a second. Shooting nice and flat. Recoil is pretty easy to take. Uh, you try 400 grain bullets in this thing. It's a lot harder to shoot. It's not much fun. 